Hey guys, this is SJ, back at you with another video for today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a VPN in Kali Linux. Now this uh, video tutorial is going to be really simple. I'm just be showing you guys how to use a VPN uh, while you browse the internet or whatever it is that you do on Kali Linux or any um, Linux distribution whatsoever. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So what you're going to, want to do, you're going to want to go to freevpn.com or vpnbook, not freevpn.com, but vpnbook.com and go ahead and hit enter. Now you don't have to use that URL that I just showed right there, but you can just go ahead and use vpnbook.com. Now what you're going to do is you're going to type in free, not type, but you're going to hit this right here where it says free VPN accounts. Now you're going to scroll down and right here, as you can see, here goes, here are the uh, files that you are going to be given to download to use. So what these files are, they're uh, basically just a file that uh, specifies what server to connect to and how it's, it's basically just a config file for you to connect to. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click one of these files, it does not matter. And uh, as you can see, these are the things is optimized for fast web serving and no P2P downloading. And so what it doesn't really matter which one you click. Uh, they're basically all the same. I'm just going to click CA and just hit save file. Once you do that, you're going to go to your downloads file. And now you're going to extract here. And now you're going to open it up. And now right here, you're going to right click in the folder that just that you just opened it up in and you're going to hit open in terminal. And now just LS. Now what you're going to do, you're going to type in open VPN and whichever one that you're going to use. Now, these files are all the exact same. They're just using different ports and different protocols. So for TCP, there's going to be port 443 and port 80. Same protocol, just different ports. Now UDP is going to be used 2500 and not 2500, but 25,000, port 25,000 and um, port 53, same protocol. So what we're going to do, we're typing VPN book. Dash CA one dash TCP. 80.ovpn. Now you can, it's the same exact thing, except if you're using the UDP, make sure you type ex, uh, exactly how the, what the file is named, is listed as, after you type in OpenVPN. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna press enter. Now there's going to be a username and a password. Now for if you ever decide to come back in the future and use this service again, the username will always stay the same no matter what. It's always VPN book. Um, now, after you've done that, you're just going to go ahead and type in VPN book. And press enter. Now it's going to ask you for the password. Now, these passwords are case sensitive, so make sure you type them exactly how you see here. So it's going to be, for me, it's going to be 5 capital N C B 6 lowercase Y N and press enter. Wait till this is done. And now, as you can see, it says initialization sequence complete. That means that the uh, VPN is up and running. Now, if you want to use this for uh, a system, something in your system, instead of having to go through the terminal, I think you can go through here. You can go through the system settings. And then you go to network. And here it goes, open VPN. And you basically just specify where you want the thing, that, what it's named. Now, these uh, files that you're going to use, um, the open VPN files, they're only active for 24 hours. From what I've known, I, I've, I've only been able to use them for 24 hours. Um, but yeah, they're pretty much active for 24 hours. After that, you have to get a new one and just renew it after you do that. 
you could just use it again. But for here, it's more of a more of a permanent VPN uh, option. So once you do that, you can go ahead and just just quit that. But yeah, but that's how it all works now. And if you just want to be done with it, you go ahead and hit Control C, and that'll be that. And it'll just exit out of it, and you'll be done. Now, uh, if you guys ever think about using the service in the future, I really recommend that you use it. It's not a bad service. I like the um, the VPN itself, the uh, VPN book itself. It's quite fast and uh, compared to other services. And if you uh, want to, uh, just go ahead and just go to the website and make donations and everything. No, this is not a... Uh, an ad or anything that I'm telling you guys. This is my gen, my, my genuine, um, like concern for it. it's, it's not a bad service. But with all that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching the videos. I, I love you guys for watching them and coming here every single day and watching my videos. Thank you for all the support, all the comments and the likes and everything. It really helps out the channel a lot. With that being said, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.